what is up guys welcome back to a brand new uh, video today i just want to teach you how you can get the least input delay you can get on fortnite battle royale i know i made a video recently on this but this is another guide since some bits have changed there is a one uh strategy in here that you're going to be doing that is from one of the other videos but basically let's just get right into the video please drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and comment down below if this did help you get right into it so basically for this first tip all you want to do is you want to be on fortnite you just want to go to settings and you want to be here if you want the least input delay make sure your messages are on low guys this is gonna lower your input delay by about one to two milliseconds it ain't much so you can put them on high message if you want but if you want the least input delay you can get make sure your messages are on low and obviously make sure you're on a uh, performance mode make sure v-sync is turned off guys because this is not going to help at all it's going to give you a lot more input delay uh, the rest of the settings are completely up to you but make sure your meshes are on low if you want the least input delay but it's completely personal preference now let's actually get right into the next tip so for this next tip all you want to do is make sure you are on your desktop and you just want to go here to your search bar and you want to hit run or type in run or you can just type in this in a search bar right here to reg edit and it will come up as a registry editor you just want to click on it click yes when it comes up with that and as you can see, I'm already on it, but what you want to do is this folder, you just want to open it up, HK Local Machine, you want to go down to the bottom of the system, open that one up, and at current control set, you want to open that folder up also, and then go to control, open that up, and you want to scroll down, it's in alphabetical order. Uh, make sure you check the description down below, guys, because this is from Adam X. His link will be in the description he's the one who found this pretty much and it does work guys i can promise you that now and all you want to do is you want to go down to priority control you want to double click on that and the third one down is a win 32 priority separation guys as you can see here make sure it's a window where we win 32 priority separation and you just want to double click on it and as you can see here it will come up with that value data 28 but yours is going to be like one or two or something like that pretty much there is a way you can get zero input delay by using this. Well, not completely zero, but lower your input delay a lot. Make sure it's on hexadecimal, not on decimal. If it's on decimal, it will not work, guys. Make sure the value data, you should put it to 28. If your PC, if it does not feel like it's done anymore, make sure you put it down to 26 or 16. These numbers are okay. The 16 is a bit of a balance between FPS and input delay, but my personal preference is 28, and Adam X does recommend 28. You just want to type that number in, hit OK, and you can exit off registry editor, guys. Let's get right into the last tip. So, basically, this last tip is not really a tip, but it's kind of is. Do not use a time and resolution or ISLC, guys. This has been proven by a lot of people that it does hire your input delay by about one millisecond. For some people, it will work, but for the majority of people, do not use it, guys. I promise you now. It can actually hire your input delay. I don't know what goes on with it, but I've heard that's why a lot of people stop using it because it does hire your input delay. And I don't want you guys getting more input delay thinking you're getting less, but because people have told you to use it, I can promise you now it does not really help. That's why a lot of pros don't use it no more. It did used to help, and I don't know what's happened to it now. It probably does help for some people, but by my personal like experience, it did not help me. And I know a few other people that it does not help. So please guys, make sure you follow this guide, and if you did enjoy this video, please drop a comment down below saying that Raz.com if you made it this far. Also, like the video, and also subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. I do stream daily. If you do want to support me on other social medias, go follow my Twitch, please. It would be much appreciated, and my Twitter. Thank you so much guys for watching. I've been it's your boy Razzy, and I will see you in the next one.